Hi, my name is Chris, and welcome to Sweater Talk. I'm here with my guest, Nick, who works at Burlington Coat Factory. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic, actually, and might I say, that's a wonderful sweater. Oh, why? Why, thank you. Look at that. That's purple, pink, white. It's the colors of love, my friend. That's, what, that's exactly what I thought when I bought this. Anyway, we have a lot of topics to discuss today on Sweater Talk. So, Nick, the war in Afghanistan, what's going on with it? <sighs> oh, I love talking about the war with all my friends, because they say I'm crazy about it, but the whole reason we're fighting the Afghans is because they don't have enough sweaters. Mm -hmm. They're jealous of our sweaters because they can't wear them in the desert because it's too hot. But I had an idea. Sweater vests. Ah, See, clever. It's all the warming embrace of a sweater mm -hmm. without the sleeves. And then, so we don't waste the material, we put the sleeves on the guns to make them less frightening and scary. So right. it's, it's more warm, because you don't want to waste the material of a sweater. Exactly. It's too much time and effort put into these things. Exactly. As my grandma always said, there's love in every stitch. Exactly. Next topic. Well, the satellites. NASA, what, what, what are they doing? They're all coming down oh, to Earth. Oh, the satellites. I heard about that. That was, that was a scary time. But NASA has their theory of um, it's the GPS unit. It's, not, it's malfunctioning, and it's just coming down. Mm -hmm. But my theory is since space is a vacuum, a Dyson, to be specific. You sure it's not Oryx? It might be. I don't know. Okay. Because Oryx's old-fashioned. But that's besides the point. Um, the vac it's very cold in space. Hmm. Since there's no air, and there's, it's a vacuum, so the heat can't travel. Anyway, what, they, what all satellites want to do is they want to get warm, because obviously space is cold, and they're naked. But so what they do is they come down to Earth to get warm, but then they realize, I'm There's coming no to going back. Yes, exactly. They need a sweater. Yes. So what we do is we put a sweater on the satellite. And actually, do we have a picture of that satellite? Thank you. All right. Um, but if we put a sweater on the satellite, then it'll be warm and it won't come to Earth, and then we'll have satellites forever. Right. Moving on. OK, the economy. What's up with that? We booming? We the, dive in, what are we doing? The economy is bad right now, but there is a silver lining to the storm cloud. Sweater stocks mm. are up. Really? Sweater stocks are completely up. It's weird. Now, hear me out when I say this. Since rich people can't afford the super expensive Nordstrom's sweaters, they come to places like my line of employment, like Burlington Co. Factory and even Goodwill, where sweaters are just pennies on the dollar. They're mm -hmm. so cheap and they're so stylish and they're so warm, especially in such a cold climate like this one. Right. So, if you think about it, it makes sense. Well, I don't mean to rush. We have to keep moving, though. Uh, okay. Alrighty. So, besides the economy, you know, what about, let's see, what, what about these suicide car bombings? I mean, they're just, I mean, th they're sad, you know. They're killing families and... The, the what? The car bombings in Somalia. Moving on. Anyway, that concludes our show. Thank you for watching Sweater Talk. Myron, take it away.